Hello, and welcome to an episode in the Brawl Modding Exploration series, where we take a look at some of the existing work in the Brawl Modding scene that is available to you to download and play for yourself. What we're looking at right now is the custom intro for a collection, or a pack, uh, called PMEX Remix, which is a collection of many different mods for characters, stages, uh, sounds, and the menus, uh, all put together and put on top of seemingly Project Melee. Uh, so everything on there is going to be more like um, what you're used to from Project Melee, like you can wave dash and you're not going to be tripping. So if you're more into like the classic brawl feel where you just add things in, uh, taking a look at a pack like this can be a great way to sample a lot of different mods really quickly. And then when you see something you like, you can try to figure out how to add that into your own game. Um, kind of like a, just a, a big sampling platter of the best of the best works. Uh, this one in particular is not the only collection. There are other ones that we may take a look at in the future, but I thought this was a great place to start, as we'll show after the video. It is the top download on Smash Brawl Vault, at least as of now. And there is a ton of stuff in it. I have been playing this way too much, um, more than I care to admit. It is a lot of fun, and there is a ton of characters. So. With all that said, and the amazing intro played, let's quit the game and get into the download part. We need to open internet. Internet, yes. I'm gonna type in Brawl Vault. We're gonna go to our old friend. Of course, there will be links in the description, but for the purpose of the videos, I do like to just uh, do it like that. Once you're at Brawl Vault, you're going to go over here to Packs, and then I like to click on View All. The site isn't the fastest, so if it does hang for a second, just have patience. It will go through eventually, at least in my experience. Now we can scroll down and take a look at some of these, but first I'm going to turn on safe search and refresh the page. Hopefully that will not show anything inappropriate. Uh, we have a collection of shadow uh, mod hacks and maybe um, some higher resolution character models. That's pretty cool. Uh, Remix Ultra, that's not what we're looking at. Robin Ultimate Pose Cosmetic Pack. Not sure what that is, but there's a ton of stuff, and you can take a look like this, or what we're going to do is just hit Top Downloads, and this very first one here, PMEX Remix 0.95DX. Uh, it says it was updated uh, just last year, so that's pretty new, and it's a little bit hard to read this website, I will admit. Uh, over here is like some information and you can scroll. Uh, this will give you some information about what it is. This is basically like the post, which is kind of weird how it's the smallest thing and the hardest to read, but that's the way it is. So if you want to learn more about this in particular, you can read the, uh, the stuff in here. As it says, it tries to use Project Melee as a base and add things on top. Uh, if you want to get it, you're going to click up here this is going to take you to a Google Drive. Now, apparently, we're just going to be looking at the Dolphin build. When you click on this, it's a single RAR. And please note, it is uh, 5.35 gigabytes. And that's just the RAR file. Uh, when you extract that file, it's going to be like 16 gigabytes. So all said and done, and you can delete the RAR after. But it's going to take like 20 gigs to get this. So if you're just kind of... Uh, curious but not super interested a huge pack like this might not be the best way but again like I said it will give you the most uh, things to take a look at all at once I'm not gonna click on it to download because it is it is very large 
uh, but I have it downloaded here and I already have it extracted to here. You just need to right click extract however you want. Inside is all of the setup that is required. So you don't need anything extra or um, to get dolphin and then add this to it. It has its own dolphin inside of it. The only thing that you'll need to do is in this folder games, you'll have to uh, put your brawl ISO here. So I've added that already, but when you get this, it will only have this text file. Uh, it does specifically need to be a .iso. I tried this with other file types and it did not work, so convert that to an ISO and put it in your games folder. And with that done, um, all of the setup will be linking to it properly, so you don't need to do anything else. So we'll just hit open up Dolphin. Bring this over. If you added your ISO into that folder, this will be here. If you did not, and you just opened Dolphin, you'll only have these two, and you'll need to add your ISO, and then it will show up. Once you've added the ISO, you need to right-click on this, and here you need to make sure that this is checked on. With that done, you're basically good to go, but do remember that because this is a new dolphin or uh, a new instance of dolphin on your computer, you may want to set up your controllers because they will not be set up, or I should say it will be default. And you may want to take a look at your graphics settings. I am not very knowledgeable about how all of this works and optimizing it and what's the best, but I will say uh, when I first got this, I believe it was set to direct 3D 11. And when I was playing around with the game, I had um, some stuttering and the screen was tearing a little bit. And so I changed it to direct 3D 12 and that seemed to be better. I also tried Vulcan and that seemed much worse. So again, I don't know, but I would recommend you just change that to 12. And uh, the rest of the settings you can take a look at. I don't think I messed around with it too much, but maybe I turned on anti-aliasing. Um, yeah, but I'd recommend at least uh, taking a look because my laptop is not very powerful. As you can see, that's my graphics card right there on my laptop. And that's not amazing. Plus, it's a laptop. Uh, but I can get this running no problem. Uh, it doesn't lag or stutter. It runs at 60 frames the whole time, which is really nice. So even on some old hardware, you can, too, can probably get a mod pack like this working. Once you have that all set up, we're going to open the game. You have to launch it through here. There is an online option, but I have not looked at that yet. So we're just checking out offline. And I prefer to play this in full screen. And the game will just uh, boot up and load like that. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at some of this cool stuff. Uh, we're going to take a quick look around some of the menus and uh, the characters and the stages. And then we'll play a couple games where I fight maybe like a random computer. But you can see we have a custom menu, custom music. You still have access to all the stuff which is nice because you can set your controls nicely. Uh, pretty much everything is unlocked right from the beginning. So you'll already have like special verses unlocked and all of the characters or all of the special rules. So we'll go into fight and get prepared for this amazing character select screen. Oh my god. That's right. Look how many characters there are. I believe there are 97 characters, including Sub-Zero, who's totally awesome. And actually, we're going to do one as Sub-Zero, but not right now. We're going to take a look at all these characters real quick. Well, maybe not all of them, but we're just going to skim. So you got, like, Dr. Luigi. They added Toad, Waluigi, Gino. You got some Smash 4 characters, some Smash Ultimate characters. You can play as the sandbag, Little Max in there. I played with that and he had uh, the KO Punch. 
these Captain Falcon characters are pretty cool. Uh, this one, Captain Falcon, has like ice moves or something. Uh, Ridley. Uh, and some of these characters have, if you hold a button, like if you see it over here, it says hold L for suitless Samus. And that's like, it's kind of like if she was just like a human with a robot arm, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and some of the characters have multiple different stuff, like Ganondorf has hold L for uh, sword Ganondorf. You got some more links. Fierce Deity Link is really funny because he's really big. So you can really kick his ass. You got Navarre. More uh, Fire Emblem characters. Isabel. Sukupan. Some cool stuff. Extra Pokemon. Some more Earthbound characters, including this one guy. Uh, his sword is electric, and he's actually pretty good. Isaac's there. We have some characters that I don't know. Um, I'm not sure who these characters are. Uh, but a lot of effort was put into them, because they have like full voice acting and stuff. Got Sans, Metal Sonic, which is awesome. I love Metal Sonic. Some Persona characters. Vector Man, who's amazing. Pac-Man. Some Tekken characters. You got the Fighting Alloy team. Key Boy. Dragon Quest stuff. Final or uh, Final Fantasy stuff. Uh, some more Dracula game stuff. More bosses. Sub Zero's awesome. Terry, we all love him. And some more Mega Mans, which is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't seem like it has the Mega Man from Smash 4, but this might be very similar. I'm not sure. I haven't actually messed around with those guys yet. Um, we're just going to do a match with only one stock. And I'm just going to do it against a random character. Uh, all of the maps, if you hold a button, like if I held Z and pressed A, we'd actually do this one. But if I didn't press anything, we'd do this one here. And there are a ton of uh, a ton of stages. Like this one has four. This one has five. You know, so like, there's not only just as many stages as you see, there's even more. Which was actually something I thought was really cool when they added like the the four glory version of stages. I thought that was like an interesting idea. But then there's a second page, including pilot wings. Yes, pilot wings. I've played a lot of Smash, um, as you can probably guess. Uh, Pilot Wings is my favorite stage of all time. Fight me. And we got a page three full of cool stuff. Um, there's all sorts of crazy stuff here that you can check out. But for now, let's just keep it relatively simple and do something that wasn't in the original Smash. Oh, so we got Knuckle Joe versus Sub-Zero. And Sub-Zero has the worst recovery ever. It's so awesome. Like, check this out. Yeah! That's his recovery. Yeah! And if you use a side B in the air, he uses this big hammer. Oh no! Well, that's some Brawl AI for you right there. Sub Zero. Uh, and then maybe who else would be a cool character? Vector Man, of course. Uh, hmm. What's what's this one? If I press the Z button. Three, 
Uh oh, Link, no. Alright, so it's some kind of like Wario Land symbol. I do like how Vector Man can like just shoot up. It's pretty sweet. Watch this. But you see how big Fierce Data Link is? Oh no. Get out of here. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> got him. And so it's got the music. They've all got custom moves. Um, it is Project Melee, so uh, there is, you know, the wave dashing and things, and you can do stuff like that. And it's got, like, the moves from Project Melee, if you're more familiar with them. Wow. Oh. Hit me right out of the air. I'll save you, Bowser. But it's got, like, the uh, the controls and the movement and stuff from Project Melee. It's just I'm not actually very good. And actually, I haven't actually played Smash uh, in a long time, to be honest. Uh, but you can be guys like... I could be Giga Dry Bowser. Why not? On the Fountain of Dreams. So it's kind of like a boss type character. There's even like Metal Face from uh, Xenoblade. And the boss type characters seem like obviously they're really big so you can kind of kick their butt. But I mean it's pretty hard to compete with a Bowser who is this large. Oops. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I don't think Dry Bowser would be able to clap. Do you think his arms would actually be able to reach together? Hmm. You know, it's it's a weird thought, but I'm I'm imagining Dry Bowser with skin and thinking about how that doesn't look like Bowser at all. His arms are so long. And his head looks weird. Yeah, like that looks better. This looks more Oh, maybe because it was Giga Dry Bowser, I don't know. But anyway, this was a little exploration into a mod pack. You can check it out yourself and uh, take a look at all those characters. It's been a lot of fun to play. Hope you enjoyed watching me mess around, and we'll check it out yourself. Uh, there will be more videos in this series where we take a look at other things. We might take a look at uh, individual characters or individual stages, but in the exploration series, we will be looking at work that has been done, and in the modding tutorial series, we will be learning about how to do that. So if there's anything in this video or in this mod that you would be interested in learning how to do, uh, we can take a look at that in the tutorial series as that goes on. So thanks again for watching, have a great yesterday, and have fun. <laughs>